Absolutely. So let's just dive right into it. Like what the heck is peptide therapy for the body, for the skin? And the first question I want to ask you is why are anti-aging and medical treatments more similar where we think it? What's the overlap? What have you seen in your practice? I think what it comes down to is you have to understand it's all about healing and optimization of health. And that's, that's really like anti-aging isn't any separate kind of approach. You're looking at maybe a separate outcome somewhat, but really you're not. If you could optimize your health, you could look your best also. And if you're in a disease state, what are you trying to do? You're trying to optimize your health through medicine. So we've never taken a different look at it as, hey, our anti-aging sector is completely separate from our medical sector. We're utilizing a lot of the same therapies, light therapies, different types of detoxification therapies, even intravenous, because you got to see it as what start, it all starts inside your body. And so you have to optimize everything going on inside your body so it comes through the outside, through the skin, and you look better. So this idea of anti-aging being so vastly different than medicine to me is a misnomer. And we really do need to move in that direction of bridging this gap and being able to say what your medical procedures and everything we do in medicine is really going to optimize your health, which is going to optimize your skin, which is anti-aging. And I think that's that's where we need to uh, you know redefine both medicine and anti-aging to make it a little bit more similar, that it really is about preserving and optimizing your mind, body, and spirit, which will, of course, make you feel better, make you look better, and just give you that rejuvenated look all over. So when we see a lot of patients that come to us and are sick, they don't look as good, of course. They, they You could say they would require some anti-aging treatments. As they go through the plan we give them and their medical treatments, they start to look different. They start to look better. They start to regenerate on all sides of it. So I have to say that I think we, we like to really separate it and throw it in two different things as we like to separate even medicine from psychology, as we like to separate medicine as a whole even. We have so many specialties right now in medicine that you jump from one doctor to the other to the other and they all look at one piece of your body and then say, oh, there's nothing wrong here. And then you look at the other, it's all interrelated. And I think when you look at anti-aging and medicine, that is incredibly interrelated too. So we can start to bridge that gap, bring it together, apply medical treatments for anti-aging and anti-aging treatments for medicine.